Good morning. It's Monday, April 13th, 2020. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled Cornerstone, and our scripture is Psalm 118. The stone that the builders rejected has now become the cornerstone. This is the Lord's doing, and it is wonderful to see. This is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Author Warren Wiersbe makes the point in his Bible study on this passage that this psalm is messianic. It points to Jesus, the Messiah. Wiersbe writes, Under Zerubbabel and Ezra, the Jewish people had been rebuilding the temple, and under the leadership of Nehemiah, they had rebuilt the walls of Jerusalem and restored the gates. During these activities, did they find among the ruins a large stone that they rejected, only to discover that it was the most important stone of all? Peter certainly agreed with this view. When he stood before the builders, the religious leaders of the Sanhedrin Council, to explain the healing of a blind beggar at the temple, Peter seized that moment to hold up the contrast between Jesus, the cornerstone of all human existence, and the blind builders who rejected him. Acts chapter 4. For Jesus is the one referred to in the scriptures where it says the stone that you builders rejected has now become the cornerstone. There is salvation in no one else. God has given no other name under heaven by which we must be saved. Peter later makes the point in his epistle, 1 Peter chapter 2, that this very cornerstone, Jesus, whom the builders, the religious leaders, rejected and had crucified, along with all others who reject Jesus' lordship, would eventually find that because of their unbelief, they would experience the opposite of stability that the creator cornerstone came to give us. They would find him a stumbling stone laying in the pathway of all their plans. He would become a crushing rock of judgment. Of course, This imagery points to the coming final judgment of God for all sin, the chief unforgivable one, which is the rejection of Jesus Christ. Every bit of the praise, joy, and contentment in life to which the psalm points is predicated on having the cornerstone in its rightful place, the throne, the foundation of right living, the anchor point for a strong building of one's existence. It is to borrow the evangelist's phrase, to accept Jesus in your heart, making him Lord over your life. For you today, I've stumbled over enough things in the darkness in my life to know it's not wise at all to wait for the judgment stone to roll over me. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.